you guys asked for it i'm gonna show you how to achieve this gorgeous summer bronzy look that i did on the beautiful jess i'm going to need your epi pen and i'm also going to show you the easiest way to achieve this look because i promise it's not hard let's get into it and if you're new here, I'm Chanel Sorrells, professional makeup artist with over 10 years, and I'm here to help you make makeup that much easier. Most importantly, as always, make sure your skin is prepped. I always go for a good amount of hydration, and if we need to mattify it later, we can. Because this eye is going to be so much more simple than you think, I'm going to challenge you to do your base first. And I want to show you how to get this bronzy, beautiful complexion. Apply your foundation. Always work in thin, even layers so the base looks as even and smooth as possible. On Jess, I used the Tom Ford foundation stick. I used the shade Warm Almonds. It has a very warm tone. When I do bronzy looks, I like to really have that warmth to it. But if warm tones don't really suit your skin, you can always go in with something a little cooler and a little lighter. And you can even mix them together to have that warm yet cool tone. I love using a brush for this part. I don't like to go directly in with the stick. So I'm using a little bit of that right on a flat brush as you can see i'm pressing it in so it melts into the skin but i'm also bringing it down towards the center of my forehead now if you don't have a lot of forehead space you can skip this part what i like to do is just bring it down almost to like the center of my forehead just to make the warmth nice and even you don't want to have like a ring of bronzer around your forehead and i'm going to do the same for my cheeks and we're going to do it a little higher up than we would do contour contour would be like right there i'm bringing my bronzer up a little higher and again it's that same padding motion where i'm really pushing it into my skin and i'm actually going upwards so i'm pushing this up which is actually going to lift your cheekbone area and this is the reason i like using a brush is because you actually have so much control if you feel like it's looking a little bit crazy just take a clean brush and blend everything in. You see how seamless that foundation looks against another foundation. I'll also take a little bit and just hit my jawline just to make sure the whole face is in harmony and that everything has a little bit of bronze to it. Next, we're gonna do some cream blush, Wear Beauty Joy, and this is the exact shade that I used on her. It's such a perfect, pretty, true peach tone. Just wanna put it up a little higher to make sure we have a lifted appearance. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and just start to blend this out. I love to use fluffy brushes for this because it's gonna help me disperse the product and make it look a little more airbrushed. I'm keeping it up in this area. If you have darkness under your eyes, bringing a little bit of a peach blush under the eye before you do concealer will double as a color corrector. So once you're happy with the placement of it, take a clean brush and just push everything in. I'm gonna put a little bit of the leftover blush on my forehead. This is gonna look so monochromatic and pretty. It's the little details in your makeup that are gonna make it tie together so much better. It looks so pretty already. You guys are seeing the vibe. It's already giving lifted, peachy, bronzy, just wait. I'm using Hourglass Concealer on a flat concealer brush. And I'm just gonna start to apply it in this area that's open right under the eye. I bring light to the center of the face by adding some concealer in the center of my forehead, through the eyes, nose, chin. Take a little bit of concealer and just etch out an edge like that. And this is gonna be not only a clean edge for our bronzy eye, but it's just gonna lift our eyes up even more. Just letting it get tacky by fanning it. This hourglass concealer can crease really easily because it's so creamy. And I'm gonna blend everything out. Blending the concealer outwards towards the blush, blending the outer edges and pushing them outwards like that. And then keeping this right here, keeping that concentrated and blending it into place. Blending lightly of the outer edges. Same for this little eye area. I'm literally just following it upwards. To complement this look, I'm actually gonna use a peachy toned powder. This is Huda Beauty Peach Pie. I'm gonna go in with my puff. Before I do any setting, I'm just gonna make sure that everything is nice and set into place with a beauty blender. And then I'm just gonna start to set. And this part I do first, I just do a light set over all the areas that I want nice and matte, and then I'll go over and bake where I want. You can totally keep this look more glowy and it'll be gorgeous, but for this particular look, she had a full press day, so we kept everything pretty matte, and then I brought glow to the areas where I wanted it. I like to use like a translucent powder for the other parts of my face. I'm gonna use RCMA today. Any type of translucent Laura Mercier or like a skin tone powder, it's up to you. I like to use a translucent that doesn't have any color, and I like to make sure that the forehead area is set down before I go over with powder bronzer and this is because I've noticed that if you leave it 
wet and you go right over it with powder bronzer it can start to look splotchy throughout the day and if you're more oily you can definitely go a lot heavier with this step using your powders when you're setting your face is all about preference now we're going to go in with powder bronzer and this is going to kick that warmth back into the face i'm going to go in with two different bronzers today this is a charlotte tilbury and this is fenty beauty when i apply bronzer i make sure my brush is fully loaded and i tap off any excess and then i press that bronzer into the skin the same way that i did with my cream that pressing motion is going to make it look so airbrushed same for that cheek area i like to just press it in and then go in upward motions now i'm going to use my fenty beauty bronzer which is a little warmer and i'm going to put it on the high points of the face just to give me a nice warm sun-kissed look and i'm just pressing that in again and as you can see it like immediately brought some warmth to my skin I'm using Huda Beauty Sugar Cookie and I'm just using that to bake lightly under my eyes so we have a little bit of brightness. I personally don't love to contour my nose, but this would be the step. Next, we're gonna do some blush. These were the main peachy tones that I used on Jess, House Labs Palermo Peach and Patrick Tashi's The Moment beautiful peachy blushes. First I'm going to take a more concentrated brush like this so I can really concentrate some color in this area. I'm going to lay my brush flat in this area right here, higher up on the temple. I'm just going to push this into this area and I'm going to work this brush right under the eye right here. I'm not using any extra product. This is after I already pushed everything in and I'm just doing this. On a more fluffy brush like this, I'm going to take Palermo Peach and I'll go upwards. I don't want this area to be too saturated in blush so I just lightly touch it and pull up. Put this on my forehead. Again, it's like the little details that you wouldn't notice, but it looks so pretty when the colors all come together. If you ever feel like you blend your blush too far down, honestly, a powder puff will always be your best friend. If you feel like you made any mistakes with placing your powders down, just go with a puff and push it into the skin. To top off the cheek, I also used a baked blush. I used the Kosas one, the peachy one, but it's not with me, it's in my kit. So I'm gonna use this beautiful one from Dibs. And the reason I used a baked blush to top off her cheek is because it's gonna give it a little bit of glow, but not too much glow, something that's still really camera friendly and will make the skin look healthy and glowy. Just ran that over the cheek so that way there's a little bit of life to them wait this is gorgeous okay, at this point we should be looking bronzy we should be looking peachy and a little glowy while our face is still set down and snatched let's get into the eyes follow me to part two